How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and review Trend Micro Maximum Security. This is what it looks like here. And if you guys want to download the uh, free trial like I have, you can. I will post a link on the description of the video below. And once you go to the link, scroll all the way to the bottom. And here they have Maximum Security, Internet Security, and Antivirus Plus Security, which we're going to review those other ones. But right now we're going to do Maximum Security. And as you can tell, it does a lot of things. It protects against ransomware. It includes advanced AI learning, safeguards against internet and email scams, includes Trend Micro PayGuard, keeps children safe. So this is the one that has all the features in it, guys. Keeps children safe online, secure privacy and social media, fixes and optimizes systems, protects and manages passwords, and secures mobile devices. And you just click, you can click on the free trial button here to try any of them. But right now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one here. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at PC Magazine's review of it first. The pros of it is that it has excellent scores in phishing and malicious download tests. Comprehensive Android security, so it works also on Android. Protection for Mac operating systems beyond the basics, which, uh, which is good because a lot of antivirus uh, software doesn't, uh, per doesn't have many features for Mac. So that's good that they've focused on that for you Mac users. And, you, and it has unusually feature-rich iOS protection. Many useful security features. Now the cons, it says, lab scores from perfect to dismal. Ooh, crap. So it's one of those that just looks nice. But that's where it really matters, guys, the lab scores. If the lab scores are down, then what's the point, right? Poor score and hands-on on malware protection tests. So... And parental control is weak. Eee. So that's not good. So let's take a look at it here. We'll take a look at those test scores at the end of the video. But right now, let's actually look at the interface here. Here we have a device button here. And here you can go ahead and change and, change and configure um, a lot of stuff here. I recommend just leaving it by default. It does have a PC health checkup. Remember, this is maximum security, so it has everything on it. So you can optimize the performance of the computer that way. And I have it running right now. We won't run everything, guys, because it takes time to run a lot of stuff. We have mute mode, temporarily stop non-critical notifications while you're doing an important task. That's pretty cool. Okay. Looks like it finished the optimization. That's pretty cool, the mute mode. Really, really cool. And... Oh, so if you're watching a movie, it'll it could do it. You can go ahead and change everything here the way you want it. But that's pretty cool that it has mute mode. Like like PC Magazine said, it is feature rich. Uh, and you can protect another device by clicking here. I think it'll take you to the web page to do that. But that's pretty cool stuff there. All right, let's take a look at the scan function. So it's got a big scan button. But let's see what else it has. It also has a quick scan, a full scan, and a custom scan. I like that. This is, so this... So Trend Micro seems to be very user friendly. We're going to click on scan and see. Um, it's doing a quick scan right now. Seems to be doing it pretty fast. Now, can we go ahead and look at the other features while it's doing that? Mm, looks like we possibly can. Yep, yep, here we are. So let's take a look at everything else while it does that scan. When, when we go to privacy, uh, what's going on? I think we crashed it we're trying to use it while we're doing a scan <laughs> i think we crashed it well that ain't good i think we crashed it guys look at this all right hold on one second all right guys so it looks like we had to restart the whole application again um I was able to right click down here and just hit exit and boom, it exited the whole software, which is bad because a virus could come in here and take out your antivirus, the maximum security trend micro pretty fast. Because all I did was right click, hit exit and boom, it got out really fast. So that tells me guys that um, that's why the test didn't do so well. All right. Every time I click on privacy, it does this. I'm going to have to take points off the review because I'm clicking on privacy and it's still getting hung up right here. So we're going to go do what we did a while ago. We're going to right click down here, exit. See how easy that was? 
something tells me this this piece of software is not very uh, secure, guys. I mean, people are able to. If I can do that, a hacker can. You know, a virus can. But let's restart it again. It's already getting points off. So do not click on privacy. <laughs> It'll crash on you. Let's go to data. All right. So it looks like it has a folder shield. Prevents ransomware from taking your files. It has secure erase. Erase sensitive files. It also has a password manager, which you have to download. And it has the vault. And then that vault, you can go ahead and put a uh, password. It's a password protected folder where you can put your stuff in there. Pretty cool stuff. So it has a lot of features, guys. Now, the family feature here is the parental control. And you can go ahead and hit configure. And I guess you got to put a password in. I'm just going to put password. 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 Create wants me to put my email address on there. Okay, so you create a password, you put your email address on there, and it'll take you. I think it it might be on the web browser or it might be on the actual software, but I can't put my email address on there, guys. But uh, all right. So it looks like that's everything. Um, Let's look at the custom scan here. So yeah, you can go ahead and customize that. I want to see if it has a scheduled scans. There we are. So it's so it better have a scheduled scan if you're going to pay for this thing. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and take a look at the actual test results of it. Scroll down here. So uh, where's trend micro? Trend micro. Trend micro. Here it is. Ooh man, it got a three. Oh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> they tested it three times, but it's still a pretty low. 7.4 is low, guys. They tested it three times, and it's got a 7.4. So, and we tested that a while ago. We were able to close down the, the software if we wanted to. That's the lowest score of them all. Look at that. If we look at all the scores, Trend Micro actually gets the lowest scores. My goodness. Not to mention that it was crashing on us, too. So, that's it for the review, guys. I'm going to have to give Trend Micro. Well, let's take a look at the uh, the price. It's $49.95. Now, is that one time or is it yearly? I can't tell. Let's see. Let's pretend we're going to buy it right now just so we can see. Um, service plan. Uh, it looks like it might be a one time. Premium search plan uh, looks like it's a one-time. A one one-time purchase is what it looks like. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like it's a one-time purchase of seventy dollars, sixty-nine ninety-five. Um, would I buy it? No, no, I wouldn't do it. Um, I'm gonna have to give Trend Micro. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it. I'm sorry, guys, two out of five. And the reason why is because of that very low score it, it's not very secure guys it has a lot of features yes but i've seen some with more features and the price is not too bad i've seen some that are a lot more expensive than that but yeah it's going to be a two out of five because of the low scores all right because it kept crashing on me but the scores that's what it has the lowest scores out of all of them guys so that's why it gets two out of five in my opinion go ahead and comment on the comment section if you have another opinion or what you think, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.